Hey, how's it going boys and girls? Cowies here and welcome to the Care Club where we build awesome things together. In the past week, I had many in-game requests from people wanting me to build them a house. There is also requests coming through in the comment section wanting me to build them a house. So in today's video, we are going to build a Japanese style home just for you guys. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. My mind is blown away from how supportive you guys are. It's only been a week since I reached 500 subscribers and now I'm halfway to 600. Thank you guys for the wonderful support if you guys want to keep in touch with me join the care cup on discord and roblox group the link is in the description below all i ask is that you guys be respectful to the rules that we have in place also i wanted to mention that i am planning to continue the building series except i wanted to build on your island so if you want something cool to build on your island leave me a comment below with your request and with that let's get started the first thing to do is lay out a big piece of land for this build, I'm using a 47 by 47 plot of land, and yes, it is a big piece of land. Once you have laid out the space, next you'll have to draw the outlines of the building. I'm using a sand block because the color is bright and easy to see. I have also included an image of what the finished outline is. The reason why we are doing this is to measure space, so we know that we can fit everything we want to build in this plot of land. To start off, we're gonna start from the entrance with the two pillars, which on the image, it will be shown in red, then extend outward in both directions by 14 blocks. The height of the build is 27 blocks high. On the left hand side at the back, there is a back door. When you're done with the outer wall outline, the last thing to do is lay down the wall for each house. The blue dotted lines on the image is the spacing between each house. When you're finished, don't forget to leave a space for the door. Now that the hard part is out of the way, the rest of the build is quite simple. Japanese often have stone brick flooring, so what we're going to do is lay over the grass with stone bricks. When you're finished with this, your build will look something like this. Next, we will form the houses. All three houses will be built the same way. First, you surround each house with a stone slab. This will make the house look like it has steps going up. Second, place one layer of stone brick over the sand outline. And for the floor inside the house, use any wood materials you like. When this is finished, the base level of your house is done. Next, make the wall of each house three blocks high. I'm using birch wood because that is the only wood closest to white. Lastly, make the roof of the house using pine step block which gives the illusion that you are building a triangle. Start at the edge of the house and build upwards and keep building upwards until the tip of the triangle is formed. And don't forget to make the ends of the roof stick out a little bit. Before you finish off the house, there is one last bit of detail we want to take care of before we move on. You're going to remove some blocks to form the windows of the house. For the two houses on the side, dig out a window and place a roof over it like this. In front of the house, dig another hole. At the moment, the house don't look quite Japanese yet. That's because there is too much white on the house. To break up the color and make the house more Japanese looking like, replace the edge of the house with pine wood. This will make the house look like it is made out of an old style wood. And for the last house, we did the same thing. Two windows on the side and replace the edge with pine wood. When you're done, your house now looks a bit more Japanese like. But we're not done yet. We still need to form the outside wall, the front gate and the back door. For the front gate where you see the 2x2 two two sand block, place stone bricks on top of it. Then build upward by 3 blocks with actual pine wood and not the pine plank. This will be the pillars of the gate. Then build the roof of the gate the same way you did for the house and you're done. For the back door, it is much simpler because you only have one block to deal with. Same as the front gate, stack 3 pine woods high and place a roof overhead. The last thing to do is to form the wall, which is very simple. Stack two stone bricks on top of the sand block and top it off with a pine step like this. Do this for the entire parameters of the building and you are done. The last thing to do is decoration and texturing the entire area to complete the Japanese look. And by the way, in this part of the build, you will need some game paths like the lighting station and flower station to complete. If you don't have it, buy the materials from another player. 
If you look at the ground, it looks very monotone with the stone brick looking the same everywhere. Static look makes your building look boring. To break the static look, we're going to dig into the ground to reveal some green area at the center of the build and place four small pillars on each corner with the lantern on top for light. At the front gate, erect two stone light posts to place your lanterns on it. For the interiors of the house, decorate it as you see fit. I choose to place some candle on wooden stand because in old Japanese houses there is no electricity. On one side of the house, plant a tree into the ground so it looks like the tree has been there for a very long time. On the other side, you might want to place a plant area right outside the window. And at the back, I have dug a deep hole and built a water well. Then finally, surrounding the perimeters of the building, I placed random stacks of haze in the corners and placed furnace as ceramic water pot. To really make your build look epic, the secret is to add subtle details into the texture. This might be very confusing for some of you and it is very time consuming, but if you want awesome build, this part of the process will separate you from the rest of the island. This is an advanced topic, so if you are happy with the build you got up until this point, you can feel free to skip this and end the video. The whole point of texturing is to make your build look as believable as possible. This means that the stone break ground isn't entirely stone. There are grass and flowers growing out of it. So we will replace some stone break with mossy stone break and perhaps put some yellow flowers down. Do this wherever there is stone breaks like the ground and the outer wall. But be careful not to overdo it because if there is too much detail, it becomes ugly. And another thing you can do for the ground and the walls is to replace some stone break with stone steps, making it look like some breaks is broken or missing. If you did manage to build this from start to finish and at this part of the video, I want to give you my respect in following this guy all the way to the end. I know this is not an easy build and the video is probably quite long for you guys, so thank you guys for watching this. I think there are a few things that I am missing here and there, so if you are having trouble with this, give me your comments below and I'll do my best to help you in any way possible to have this build. If you want to see this build on my island, follow me on Roblox. My username is in the description below so you guys can join my game to see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer everyone's comment and fulfill everyone's request. Also, if you guys want to get in touch with me, I have created a Discord channel and Roblox group called the Karen Club. The link is in the description below. All I ask is that you be respectful to the rules that we have in place. And with that, thank you guys once again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video in-game or at the Karen Club. Take care everybody.